So I've been playing with synth stuff all weekend. Um, this is what I came up with today. It's got all sorts of craziness going on with it. Uh, I'll just show you a little bit of what it does and I'll talk about it. <laughs> So that's the first setting. Um, basically, it's got like a PWM style synth and a simple LFO. So you can get all sorts of cool glitchy stuff. It almost got that uh, with the switch of the frequency in there. It almost seems like a little bit of phasing. Right there, that swashiness. So it's really cool. Um, it's a really cool uh, LFO, real punchy. So um, <clears throat> basically, you kind of this affects kind of like the rate. And it, and depending on the setting, you can get to really scoop, scoop like that. kick it all the way this way kind of turns off the pulse and gets you kind of that, that square wavy sounding uh 386 driven just wall of synthy fuzz and on a real amp this will sound much better this is a eight inch speaker on a one watt little bench amp so. um I just wanted to play with this right now and make a little tiny video, so bear with me on that. I'll, I'll make another demo where I hook it up to a real amp and just show you that this is just going to be a bass monster. You know, just show you a dry signal here. Tons of headroom on this thing, too. So I also put an octave um, down. On the inside, there's a trimmer that blends you between one octave down and two octave down. So two octave down, for reference, is like your MXR blue box. One octave down sounds really cool, um, kind of like the Jack White type sound. So I'll kick it over to that just to show you. I kind of got it blended um, more one octave down with a little bit of two in there just uh, for nice sub lows. Mostly on the bridge pickup because I'm playing a fast strat, so the humbuckers sound a little bit better with this. Just to show you the single coil, it's a little bass here. Not a bad sound, it's just a tracks a little bit much faster with the humbucker. So when you do like little pitch harmonics and different things, you get all this little glitchy stuff. So like that's kind of just um, like this kind of plucking. So just to show you. Kind of Nintendo y. So now 
now this is where it kind of you can kick on the LFO. So I built a couple arcadiators and played around with that and uh, the Bit Commander and a handful of other octave and LFO type pedals and I've just kind of started taking the parts out of the CMOS family and making my own monster so look forward I'm probably going to build just a monster guitar synth with a whole ton of features on it in the next couple days in between custom builds so look forward to a giant monster synth with just a ton of features this is just combining some of my favorite things together so I really like that pulse thing the Arcadiator does like the LFO it's like the but it's kind of like yeah, even with the blend knob on that it's kind of hard to isolate just that so I kind of wanted to pedal where it kind of split some of the features apart. I'm going to make another one where it uh, makes it more subbing, mixing, where it'll have all these things where you can track them at the same time and kind of bring out just different features, maybe more like polyphonic. like gates it on certain settings which is really neat Kicking back over to the other side. The Same thing, you can get real punchy in the first octave position.